Hello all you beautiful people, how you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about how to download mod packs and then install them. Um, I'm going to be working with MultiMC, that's the launcher that I use. Um, so if you need to download a launcher, MultiMC.org is where you get the multi-MC launcher, and then gd gdevs.io, uh, and then go to download is where you would get the GD launcher. Those are the top two. Of course, there's the Twitch launcher, but I do know there have been some bugs with that, and they're not supporting certain things, so I don't recommend the Twitch launcher. Uh, if you're going to do any of them, I do recommend these two. Multi-MC, I've only had a problem once where I just had a mod pack like up and freaking disappear I don't know it could have been user error I don't know what the heck happened with that one but other than that I've been using it for many many years and it's been fine so and then I've heard really good things about D GD launcher so those are the two uh, launchers that I would recommend now to go get our mod packs now to get our mod packs you're going to go to curseforge.com and this was what it will look like you don't even have to log in to do this so this is pretty cool so for minecraft we're just simply going to click on minecraft for our featured games and it's going to take us automatically to all mod packs now you can search for a specific mod pack you want you can sort it um by whatever you want it's automatically sorted by popularity so if you know which one you want you can type it in the search bar here obviously these are one things I've searched for um, and if not you can check out the nice thing is you can even like Sky Factory 4 you can take a look at it uh, you can look at read what it's about you can also click on relations and that'll show you exactly what mods are in it and when you see the page numbers up here that'll show you how hefty the pack is so if you see like 11 pages you know that's that's a pretty hefty pack but I have seen ones with like 15 18 pages so now I don't install because if you hit install that's gonna if you using the curse launcher or used to be curse launcher the twitch launcher then you would just hit install here however if you're gonna install it the way we are like for sky factory 4 then you are going to go to the files and you're going to go here to recent files or you could also go down here it depends where you want to go now of course if you're going to put it on a server make sure you look for the server files and setting up a server is completely different so we're not going to go over that but for instance R means it's a regular release, B is a beta release, A is an alpha release. And if you hover over, they will tell you. So it depends which one you want. The top one is going to be the newest release. So for instance, if we wanted to um, download Sky Factory 4, which let's go back because I already have Sky Factory 4. So let's go check out something maybe I don't have. So... I've heard good things. Okay, MC, e, MC Eternal. Let's take a look at this one. So obviously by looking here, looks like they actually put a lot of work in. This one has 15 pages of mods. So you would just look through and see if it's something you would want to do. I'm saying, okay, let's try it out. Uh, don't get your hopes up. I'm not playing it right now, so that's not what I'm saying. Um, but then we're just going to go here and click on the little link there. Now you see we have the option to download or install. So we want to download it. So you're just going to click the download. You have to wait a few minutes. Don't click on anything else because that's going to download the app, and that's not what we want. So here's what we want. It's going to download. So now we're going to go to our folder where it downloads. Um, mine automatically downloads to my download folder on my computer but wherever yours downloads go to that and you see it's all zipped up now here's what we're gonna do we're simply gonna take it and after we have our launcher open we're gonna take it and we're gonna drag it over here and it's gonna automatically pop up 
You can name it com something completely different. If it's a certain mod pack, I like to keep the name the same so I know one, what the name of the pack is, plus it always says what version it is. So 1.3.7.1. So I like for it to keep there. So we're just gonna hit okay. It's gonna automatically download it into our system here. Now, while it's doing that, it's not gonna be responsive, but there's a couple other things that we can do inside here um, to help our playability. So let me be, uh, I'll be just a minute and it's gonna pop up here, but I'm gonna pause it because it does take a minute, so be right back. As you can see here, it is downloading the mods. And then it'll say not responding, but you just have to wait a minute. Anytime there's the blue loading circle, just don't touch it. Just leave it for a minute while it finishes whatever it's doing. Um, at least that's what I suggest. And then here in a second, it's gonna pop up. There it is, and we have MC Eternal. Now you can completely launch this as is. You can go in, you can click here to edit the instance. So that'll pop up the folder that this is in. Oh, not that one. Edit the instance, you can edit the forge and all that. But I do not re recommend that. The only thing is in your settings, make sure your Java is the proper and you can change your memory. Because obviously some packs require more memory than others. So you can change your memory on here also. Um, and let's see, what do I usually do that to? Hold on, let me look. Uh, close. Whoops. Settings is what I was thinking of. Settings is where you go in. You can change whatever your Java, your memory, um, your perm gem. None of that do I normally change except for the maximum memory allocation. Um, what I normally change is in each pack, and um, let's see, what did I have? Let's say Sky Factory. Edit instance. Um, another cool thing about the multi MC launcher, which I haven't tried out the GD launcher, so I don't know about that one, uh, but I am looking at trying it out soon. Uh, is that going to pop up? Um, is you can have groups. So like I have this little plus sign here uh, and that is to drop it down and it'll show you I have tons and tons of um, of mod packs on here and instances. Each one that you create is called an instance. So I have tons on here but you can actually sort them into different groups. So like, okay, so f settings for this one, I have memory at 10 to 40 megabytes. Close. There we go. So for the MC Eternal, which I've played before, it's fun. Uh, let's make sure our Java, yeah, Java's already the same. So. And obviously you can change that because if you don't have as beefy as a computer or whatever, or if you need to put more memory in, you can do that. Um, but also, okay, so here, that's what I was going to show. So like these are all ones that I've played in the past, I'm just not currently playing. So I have, those are just the regular, it, it's not called anything, but these, I created a group and called it current so you can do folders but you can also click on each one of these if you right click on it and go down you can change the names and change the icon and all that uh, but here if you go to change group so you can set up new groups or like I have the blank one that's just the standard one or current which current I use as these are the ones that I am currently playing um, but MC Eternal I'm not, so that'll be moved up to the regular stuff. So while I'm at it, just go ahead and do that. But I do have the new updated version, so there I go. And then it'll disappear and you won't see it all on here anymore. But that's it. That's how easy it is to download a mod pack. 
Um, of course, if you have any questions, you can click on the support. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave them down below because even if I don't know the answer, I am more than happy to try to help you find that answer because that's what I like to do. But it's as simple as that. And um, next time we'll go over how to create your own instances and add just specific mods to it. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and want to see more tutorials. And if you liked the video, hit that like button. Until next time, this is Lava Temptress, don't get burned. Bye!